and I will be using a spray water bottle, some detangling combs, a microfiber hair towel, my shampoo and conditioner of choice, which is the Kara's Daughter Cocoa Creme this week, the Lenza Leave-In Conditioner, and the Kara's Daughter Mimosa Hair Honey to seal my hair, and of course, my Pantene Scalp Treatment. If you've seen my previous video, it has been two weeks since I installed these medium-sized twists on my natural hair. And I have a new technique, so definitely check it out after watching this video. So this is how the twists look after two weeks. They don't look bad, but my scalp is saying another thing. My scalp is very itchy. It's very dirty, filled with so much sweat and dirt. And it's just time to refresh my scalp and hair at this moment. So hygiene is big for me. So I don't go over two weeks of washing my hair. I typically go one week when my hair is loose and two weeks when my hair is twisted up. So to take these twists out, I will be using my spray bottle with some water just to get them nice and damp. This is going to make the twist come out much more easier without knotting up and getting tangled at the ends. So water is key when you are trying to manipulate your natural hair. Never manipulate dry natural hair or else you're just asking for breakage and not so one of the cons I noticed with doing this braid twist method is that it takes a lot longer to take my hair down when I'm just twisting or unraveling twist that's twisted from the roots I can just pull it apart and it's done but with this one I have to start with the twisted section pull that section apart and then I have to go in carefully and unravel the braided sections which slows down the takedown process. So your fingers are much gentler on the hair and it doesn't cause as much breakage because you can control whenever you feel tension, you can loosen up a bit and just go ahead. So this is the braided section and I'm just carefully pulling that section apart. After taking out a few of those twists, I just go ahead and dampen the hair again and then I use my detangling comb, starting from the ends, working my way up to the roots and detangling my hair, releasing all of that shedded hair from the past two weeks. Don't be alarmed when you see a lot of hair in the comb. This is just a buildup of shedded hair. So remember that we shed about 50 plus strands a day. So if you times that by the amount of times you had your hair or the duration you had your hair twisted or braided up, that is a lot of hair. So it's very normal to see a lot. So after detangling that section, I go ahead and twist it out of the way. And then I just repeat this same process all over my hair. So if you have a hard time loosening out the braided section, you can use the end of a rat tail comb, but don't use the front tooth of your detangling comb. Definitely use the end of a rat tail comb. So the water hitting the scalp after two weeks always feels so incredible, y'all. So I'm starting by getting my hair damp and I typically wash my hair in two sections only. So as you can see, my hair is hanging downwards. I make sure to keep my hair hanging in that direction and I'm just getting it nice and damp. This is going to allow the shampoo to activate the suds and work properly so I typically use like lukewarm water on my hair
So today I am using the Carol's Daughter Cocoa Cram Curl Quenching Shampoo. So this shampoo is great for very dry, curly to coily hair. It doesn't have any sulfates, parabens, artificial colors. And some of the key ingredients are coconut, mango, and murmur. So when they said this is an intense moisture system, it definitely is. So this is the texture of the shampoo. It's a nice pearl, creamy texture and... Oh my goodness, this shampoo feels so, so good on the hair. This is one of the best shampoos I've used. If you're looking for a super moisture rich shampoo that's not going to strip your hair, but clean it very, very well at the same time, this is it. This is definitely a staple from now on. So I came across the Carol's Daughter in TJ Maxx. Oh my goodness, TJ Maxx always has the best deals when it comes to natural hair products. Definitely check them out. If you are natural on a budget, because, you know, replacing natural hair products, we do it more frequently compared to when we had relaxed hair. We just use a lot more products on the Afro hair. So I'm just massaging that shampoo into my scalp and down the length of my hair, making sure that I get a thorough cleanse that's going to last me for the next week so as you can see this shampoo does a great job at cleaning the hair just in one lather this is one lather and my hair is super super sudsy it means that it definitely lifts a lot of the products off of my hair and mind you when I did my mini twist I used a lot of product so that's incredible. I only have to do one lather with the Carol's Daughter Coco Creme Shampoo. Ah, so my hair feels super clean, but it is super, super soft. I can almost skip conditioning, but not today. So I will be following up with the Curl Quenching Conditioner. So the conditioner is nice and thick. This is an instant conditioner. I won't be deep conditioning today. This is the texture and the consistency of it. Nice and creamy. It's a great thickness to it. And instantly when I apply this conditioner it instantly softens my hair the smell of these products are amazing it's more of a fruity tropical scent and I just apply that conditioner starting with my edges going around the perimeter of my hair doing the side and then doing the nape So sectioning my hair is very big, especially when I'm applying that conditioner. So for conditioning, I usually section my hair into four quadrants, and this is the first quadrant. So I apply that conditioner from the ends all the way up to the roots as close as possible. And right here, you are going to see now, I'm going to be splitting that section into half. Afro hair is super thick and it's very easy to miss strands in between that section. So make sure you are splitting that section into as many sections as possible so you do not miss any strands in there. Apply that conditioner from the ends all the way to the roots. And then I move on to the back section and then I do the other two sections on the other side. Don't be afraid to be generous with that conditioner. Use as much as possible, especially with our Afro kinky hair. So I typically massage the conditioner through my hair for about three to five minutes before rinsing it out and moving on to the next step of my wash day. So I don't detangle during this part anymore like that. I try to just detangle before 
washing and then after but if I needed to detangle with this conditioner I just want to show you guys a demo it definitely helps with detangling it has great detangling properties if you were to use it After rinsing out my conditioner, I'm using a microfiber hair towel to soak up the moisture before I move on to my leave-in conditioner. So a microfiber hair towel is much more gentler on the hair. It's not going to pull on those strands. It's going to dry the hair in a smooth way without causing too much friction. And you also want to make sure that you are absorbing as much of that moisture as possible so that your leave-in conditioners can absorb into the hair better. So now today I will be using the Lanza Healing Curls Leave-In Conditioner. This is a moisture rich leave-in conditioner. It's pretty good. I've been using it for a few months now and I really like it. It leaves my hair super soft so I already did the other sections of my hair so what I do is apply that leave-in conditioner from the ends paying special attention and then I move on to the roots splitting that hair into half again make sure that you are splitting the hair as much as possible so that no strands are left neglected or unattended for so to seal in that moisture slow down the evaporation process I'm using this Carol's Daughter hair honey mimosa mimosa honey something like that but this is basically a pomade this is a oil based product the first ingredient is shea butter so this will be in the category of a sealant so this is a product you only use before you moisturize your hair or you use it on damp hair which is the perfect time to use it now that my hair is still damp and I have that leave-in conditioner applied, so I just apply it from the ends to the roots. So I would compare this product more, it has more like a grease texture to it, but it's saw it's not as greasy as a grease. But that's what that's how I would describe it. So I'm all about scalp health, and I will be using the New Lens Scalp Revitalizing Treatment. Just to invigorate my scalp for the week, keep it nice and healthy with all of those amazing menthol ingredients such as green tea, peppermint, caffeine. It has so many scalp invigorating ingredients that feel so good. And it feels like a spa. I can just feel the amazing tingle on there. I, I just love the feel of this product on my scalp. And then I go ahead and detangle my hair with my detangling comb. So this is the second time. I detangle my hair during my wash day. I start from the ends, work my way all the way up to the root, make sure that my hair is properly detangled. After detangling my hair, now I just put my hair in some big chunky plaits and this is how I will be air drying my hair overnight. So my wash days are pretty strategic. I typically love to wash my hair in the evening going into the nighttime when I know I'm not going anywhere else for the night so that I can just air dry my hair into these chunky braids while I sleep. So these braids are going to allow my hair to dry softer and it's also going to allow the leave-in conditioner and the hair honey mimosa to be absorbed better into my hair and it gives my hair a nice stretch for the next morning. So at the ends of these braids, I am going ahead and twisting once I'm like one inch away from the ends because I find that when I braid all the way to the ends, it's just so hard to get out the next day. And it just causes so much more breakage and manipulation. So one inch before you get to the end, make sure that you switch over to a twist. So the final step is covering with my Humble Glow Bonnet and this is going to stop my pillowcase from absorbing all of my products. I know we all probably have those nights where we woke up with our hair super dry and we're like, oh my goodness, did I even wash and moisturize my hair the night before? So a bonnet is key. Make sure that you're using a satin bonnet. The very next day, I am unraveling 
my braids and today I was in a rush like I had like about 30 minutes to get ready and this is definitely not a braid out y'all I didn't use a styler but yeah those braids stretch my hair makes it easier for me to style my hair so I'm doing a quick very rush spur the moment hairstyle so I start by combing my hair upwards not straight to the ends just midway do not comb your hair straight to the ends while it is dry I'm just using that comb to sort of guide the hair to go in an upward motion and then I follow up with my boar bristle brush so this is a softer than usual brush that's not going to pull out the hair now that it's nice and brushed up, I will be rolling it into a nice big chunky twist. So you just grab the hair, roll it inwards, grab it, roll it inwards, grab it, roll it inwards. And this is how it looks. To secure that upwards roll, I will be using a claw clip to lock it into place while also loosening it up a bit, giving it a little messy look. So this is more like an effortless hairstyle that I'm going for. It's not super, super polished and put together. And then for the front, I will be just brushing it into one and then using a ponytail holder to secure it into place. So I'm not tying it tight I just use that ponytail holder one time so right here you can see I just put it over the hair and I don't wrap it a second time I want the front to be nice and loose and give it more of like an effortless look and then I will be taking my comb and plucking out a little piece of the side just to have some little side tendrils going, even add more to the effortless look. So after plucking out the side, I'm just going to be twisting it, going straight down and then halfway down, I will be switching over to a finger coil, twisting the hair around itself. That is how your finger coil, you're just wrapping it around going around in a twirly motion all the way to the ends and this is the end of that hairstyle so it just looks like i just woke up and ran out of bed without actually running out of bed nice effortless pompadour <laughs> 